Hello and welcome to an original You Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to get you the camera to follow the player in Game Maker. This can be done in Light or Pro, it doesn't matter. And so, the first thing you need to do to get your camera to follow a player, you need to have at least a player object, at least uh, a player object. You need to have a room. Now my room is really long to show you that it's side-scrolling. And it's custom designed to show you guys that it's side-scrolling. So you guys can't see the whole thing because it's pretty long. It's like 3,000. So it's pretty long. So, yeah. So to get the camera to follow the player, you want to go to the in, or any room that you choose. Make sure it's big enough to show that it's at least side-scrolling. You want to go to Views tab in the room. And you want to enable the use of views. Make sure views zero is selected. Visible when room starts. Now here you can customize the views and customize the width. So right now mine is at, um, let me just turn this off, 640 by 480. It shows the view right here. So I can customize it, make it 330. But I'm going to leave mine at 640 by 480. So that's good. You can just leave this because this will change the position of where it is. So you see mine is right here. So if I customize this, let's say, by like 100, it's changed positions already. So it will show ahead of me instead of showing me. So just leave that at zero, I guess. And let's see, port on screen, you can just leave that as it is. Just make sure it's the same as the view because then it might port it on the screen. Like maybe like a little mini map of some sort. And so we don't need that, so we can just leave it at 640 by 480. Here we have object following. You want to set it to your player object, object player. Now and you can customize this part right here, horizontal border and vertical border. This shows, so when you're, the bigger the border, the closer, the um, farther your player can be from the edge of the screen when it starts scrolling. So right now, mine is set at 32. So if my player was, say, hold on, let me just show you guys, I guess. So if my player was, per se, right here, the screen would not start scrolling until he was right here, like 32 pixels away from the edge of the screen. Then it would start scrolling, so that wouldn't be much fun because you'd be so close to the edge that you couldn't see anything. So we can t adjust this by changing the horizontal and vertical border. You can change this to like, let's say, 100 pixels. Like, let's say 200 pixels. So our player has a warning of when the screen starts to scroll. And so, yeah, that's basically how you get your camera to follow the player. I'll show you what it looks like. In the first ever Game Maker, we try this Olympics! Ah! Okay, here we have the first ever we try this Game Maker Olympics. And the crowd goes silent. Ready for we try this to begin the National Olympics. Let's begin. Jump over the balance beam. Such grace. Ah, the screen starts to scroll. Ah. Ah. Can you make it? Oh, can you make it? Oh, can't. This seems like an impossible task. But can we try to make it? He goes back. He goes forth. He jumps. He jumps again. Double jump. Ah. Uh, I should have thought that through. I should. I should. I really should have thought that through and tested it. Uh, do I have a backup plan for this? No, I don't. Well, the screen did scroll, in any case. Yeah, I really should have made a backup plan for this. But, oh, whatever. The screen does scroll, I guess. I, I give that like a 6 out of 10 on the Olympics, because I didn't finish it. Well, in any case, this has been an original. We tried this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.